The World Health Organization says European countries rolling out the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine should be flexible on the time between the first and second doses. WHO's Hunt Kluge's comment come as some countries, including Britain, are seeking to counter low vaccine supplies by extending the gap between the first and second doses to up to 12 weeks and by considering lower volume doses of some shots. Kluge said it was important to strike a balance between making the most of limited supplies and protecting as many people as possible. Now, proposals to prolong the gap between the first and second dose have generated fierce debate among scientists. Pfizer and BioNTech have warned they have no evidence their vaccine would continue to be protective if the second dose was given more than 21 days after the first. Following the WHO emergency use listing last week on the use of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, the Strategic Advisory Group of Experts on Immunization met on Tuesday to discuss policy recommendations around the use of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. We have all taken note of the recommendation to make the time between the first and second dose of the vaccine more flexible than what was initially prescribed by the manufacturer. It is important that such a decision represents a safe compromise between the limited global production capacity at the moment and the imperative for governments to protect as many people as possible while reducing the burden of any subsequent wave on the health systems. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.